Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, I'm sitting here today with Simon Duke. He is the founder of Fishbowl Australia. Um, Simon, why don't you lead off by telling us how come you brought Fishbowl to Australia? Okay, Wes. Uh, well, I guess my background is I used to do a lot of consulting in QuickBooks and MIB for a lot of small businesses around the country. And um, there's always this big gap between the QuickBooks MYB world and those larger ERP systems that are out there for businesses. Uh, so if you had a high need for, for inventory control, whether that be multi-location or manufacturing, it was kind of always this big gap. Um, now, after that time, I spent a couple of years in the US working for a race car manufacturer. Uh, and during that time as their accountant, uh, we put Fishbowl in um, and that helped with all our bill of materials and manufacturing. And um, with what I learned about Fishbowl and, and my background in Australia with that gap in the market, we saw an opportunity to, uh, to bring Fishbowl down here to Australia. So literally, you were using the product. You, you, were, you were the consumer of the product in America. You liked it so much, you went to them and you said, I want to take this back to Australia and launch it as a software company. We did, we did. So, um, so it, I definitely went through all the, uh, the change in the business and um, you know, bringing the staff on board with what's really involved in getting Fishbowl up and running. And that went right through to the, the guys on the factory floor that were welders and fabricators and and rolling out a process for them to uh, do their bill of materials and costing properly. Um, so definitely seen both sides of the coin. So, uh, you know, selling and implementing software on the fishbowl side these days, but as well as, you know, what it's really like putting the software in, you know, in a business day to day. I think that from a buyer's perspective, that's handy to know that you have been on both sides of the equation. I think that's a, you know, that, that's a great thing. Um, <clears throat> if you were to distill fishbowl down, I mean, there, there's, there are other options that people could consider. Why Fishbowl? Give me what, what are the three things that really make Fishbowl stand out amongst everything else that's out there? Yeah, I guess you're right. There's a, there's a lot of different options in the market these days, whether it be, uh, you know, the larger ERP systems that have been out there forever. Um, but these days there's also these cloud solutions uh, and there's a lot out there um, and um, they're offering varying levels of functionality. I guess from a Fishbowl's perspective, uh, it's a pretty mature product. It's been around in the US for about 18 years and we released it back here in Australia in November 2011. So it's, it's got a mature uh, feature set. Um, but as well as that, it's backed up and supported by our guys here in Australia. So um, all implementation and support uh, is done by a real person. So we're based on the Sunshine Coast. Um, and for almost all of our clients that go ahead with Fishbowl, uh, we spend some time on site with them in their business, uh, doing all the setup and training. And, and really, I guess, using our practical experience of what it's like putting Fishbowl in uh, to make sure they get to use it successfully. Now, I'm not a tech guy. I'm a business guy. One of the things that I found interesting when I first looked at the product was how simple the, the interface is. Tell me a little bit about how do you balance having something that's quite easy and simple to use um, with having a good quality uh, product that, that's got such a big scope? Yeah, I guess. And that's one of the things that I liked about it when we, uh, when we implemented Fishbowl in the US where I was working. It's there is a lot in it, uh, so there's a lot of functionality there if you do need it, um, but it's got a screen, an interface, and a workflow that you, know, you don't have to be an expert to drive it. Um, so that was one of the things that attracted me at the very, very start. Um, but I guess with inventory or manufacturing, um, you know, it's about a process, and it's about having that process of what's happening in your system uh, that tracks your costs and your inventory tie into what's practically occurring um, in the business in regards to you know, picking stock off the shelf or receiving it. And I think Fishbowl does a really good job of matching that practical business process to, to what it does in the software. Mm, very good. And I want to pick up on one little thing that you said about your support being here in Australia. Tell me a bit about your support office and who's there and, and uh, what people could expect if they needed to make a call. Yeah. So I guess it's one thing, because I have been on the other side of the coin and, and been in a business that's implemented software, one of the, the frustrations that I've had myself is once you've got the software or system in place, um, having that backup of support and there's nothing worse than, than only having an email address or a chat online. So it's, it's really been, I guess, our business's goal from day one to make sure that we have real people uh, in the office um, and not a messaging system either. So when you call our office and you've got a question or need to fix something up or ask how to do something new, you're going to be talking to one of our guys um, on the same time zone. And um, typically what we do there is we'll log in with a client. It's easy these days with the technology that we have. And, um, really guide you through the questions that you have. That's excellent. I don't know, one of the things that you pride yourself on is the amount of times a client rings you after they've implemented and says, best decision we ever made. So that's always a good testimony to the, to the product and the company. It is, it is. Um, 
you know, from a day to day, you know, we know what we do. We, we put in new systems into businesses and that means we're dealing with, you know, staff learning new software and, and changes in the business. Um, and, you know, with that comes along, you know, changes and stresses and, and differences with the business. But it's really, really rewarding when we have clients that, that call up and, and really start to discuss the benefits that they've had from Fishbowl. You know, whether that takes a few weeks for them to really see the benefits or it takes them a little bit longer. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's no better thing than when a client calls up and, and says it's really changed their business for the better. Mm. So if we were to put ourselves in a consumer's shoes, um, what would be the first step that you would like somebody to take now? Like call you, uh, you know, have a no obligation demo. Like what, 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 what would be the next step for you for somebody who's out there? Yeah, I guess step one is one thing that I'm also very passionate about is not selling fishbowl and then moving on. Um, we need to make fishbowl, make sure it's the right fit for the business. So really the best thing to do is call up our office, um, probably get on the phone with myself, um, have a chat about what your business is, what your needs are. And, and typically from there, what we can do is, is jump on an online meeting and um, really go through your business needs and uh, work out the way that Fishbowl is going to meet those needs and uh, work out if we have a good solution for you. Well, there we go. If that, uh, if that all feels right to you, why don't you do that? Why don't you jump on the phone? Ask for Simon was the invitation that you just had and, uh, and he'll take you through a process of finding out, is it the right product for you? Thanks for your time.